nothing sells like conviction. Do you have a vision? If I would ask you right now, where do you see yourself and your team five years from today? Could you answer that question clearly? Unfortunately, a lot of people can't. A lot of people say, well, these are economically uncertain times. I say the heck with that. I say figure out where you want to go and get there. Innovate. Do what it takes. You may have to work harder. You may have to do it different than you expected to do it, but it can get done. Because slow business does not mean no business. It just means you might have to find a different pathway to get to where you want to go. The people that are visionaries are the ones that tend to rise to the top. And one thing that's really going to help sustain you in the coming months and years will be a very clear vision of who you are in relation to this company and where you want to be. Habitual thinking is a very conscious process. It's very good. It's very deliberate. It allows you to focus, but sometimes we become a little too focused. We become a little too focused on our own way of thinking, our own territory. We have trouble breaking out of that pattern of thinking. Not everybody has that problem. Some people in this culture are able to think outside of the box virtually at will. We have a name for these people. We call them visionaries. Those that are able to see the solutions that other people walk right past and don't even notice. You're enthused, you're pumped up, you're motivated this morning. My question is, how long is that motivation likely to last? Well, I'll cut to the chase. I think most people can only stay motivated for about 48 hours before they lose it. A lot of you are going to be losing your enthusiasm on the way to the airport. Uh. And then I asked them, all right, to achieve those goals, what do you need to do? And they said, well, for example, we should be at least minimum 30 times each week out there face to face talking with a broker. We need to be picking up that phone at least 50 times a day. We got to put out mailers, keep in contact, customer satisfaction. They had absolutely no hesitation in telling me what they needed to do to get to where they wanted to be. And then I started asking, do you do it? Well, not always. Do you see 30 people a day about half the time? You know, I mean, I don't really get out there and do it. Why don't they stay focused? Well, because they don't know how to motivate themselves. So what's going to keep you motivated to implement all the great information and knowledge you got from this conference? What I'd like to do in the short period of time that I have with you this afternoon is show you a few simple hands-on techniques that you can use to get and stay focused over long periods of time, to get and stay motivated. And by far the most common technique I can share with you is to get goals on either a CD or on a tape. teach these people how to deal with you or not deal with you, it's that image again. You change the image, you change the performance, which is pretty much going to sum up all I'm going to do next, which is to show a little a bit about how these pictures that you carry inside your head truly are affecting your performance. I'll bet you your heavy hitters are all using it. You walk into their office, they're locked in thought, you break them out of it, and they say, ah, oh, I was just trying to put this deal together. I'm trying to figure out how to get this client to see it my way. They hypnotize themselves. A lot of people say, I don't think I could be hypnotized. It's impossible. Want to bet? Three quarters of this country was hypnotized into believing that housing prices could never fall. You don't think you could be hypnotized? You get into a style of thinking and a focus of thinking, and you tend to ignore what's going on around. You center your attention. That's not a bad thing if it's done properly. <laughs> 